Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spillin' with Sid and Pinky from Three Mississippi uh, on this lovely Christmas Eve Eve. Uh, we, which is when you guys are going to see it, we are headed to uh, the store to go get a few things to winterize a bit for this impending very, very cold weather that we are expected to have here. Uh, by the wee hours of this morning. Uh, so we're going to go get some tarps to kind of uh, block the birds in a little bit. Um, I'm putting some extra shavings in there later um, just to kind of keep them warm and, you know, keep any, they're supposed to get kind of windy potentially. Uh, so just to kind of keep them safe from that wind chill a little bit and hopefully keep them happy. We've got uh, some stuff we're going to wrap around all the outside spigots so that they don't freeze and cause the pipe to get cranky. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to go do that. And I have to go get more cling wrap because, uh, Mike will be finishing processing out some of that deer meat and wrapping it, uh, later and I need to get that so that he can wrap it, wrap it. And I got some butcher paper that's coming hopefully on Friday as well. So we shall see. We shall see. Shall it's going to be interesting to see how cold it gets. If I mean, it's supposed to be like 22 degrees at the highest. Tomorrow. At the highest. Yeah. It's supposed to get I mean, as low. I've seen some things say six. Eight. I've seen yeah. eight. I've seen 10. Um, and then I've seen you may get, we're like under an advisory in this area for like a wind chill factor advisory as well as um they're saying we could get under a under what did they say under an inch of snow however everything that i look at super locally says no you're not getting any snow just gonna be cold so we'll see um i mean i would love to get a little dusting of snow i would not be mad at a little dusting of snow but we also remember that winter doesn't really start until like January for here. Well, true. From what we've been told, winter is like January to early March, late February. Yeah. Or late December to. Yeah. Early. But we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll see. This year, obviously, it's kind of like a record, like new uh, or cold front for this time of year. Um, so, you know, it's good. It's just, it's acclimating us. It's just figuring us out and it's okay. You know, we're just, we're feeling it out. We're gonna see how we do. We're gonna see if we survive. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Um, and we're gonna run into uh, Starkville later today and run a couple couple little errands. And I think we're gonna have a little girls evening, Frankie yeah. and I. We're gonna watch, uh, I, we might watch that horror movie. Yeah, Smile. Yeah, she's been itching I've to been see that. I've been to watch it, but then it never came out on like, Netflix or anything. Well, now it's, I guess it's on Paramount, which we have, so we can watch it on there. Wow. So she's very, so I'm like, we may not, we might, like might watch movies. a horror, a horror movie, as Mike says. It's a horror movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as Mike says, yes, yeah, horror movie. Um, and we might watch that instead of a Christmas movie, which is kind of strange, I suppose. But yeah. hey, it is what it is. You know, and then I'm, I've got some, I got some bacon to do on uh, Friday and Saturday get everything ready um i think i'm gonna do i've got a pie i'm gonna make i'm gonna make my cinnamon rolls uh, and a couple other things that i need to prep and everything for christmas day for uh, the prime rib potatoes and whatnot but nothing crazy and uh, yeah i'm excited it's our you know our first christmas here in mississippi and um you know it's exciting that you know mike got that deer the other day and uh, they're gonna go out hunting again here uh, in the next couple of days and hopefully get Frankie. This morning you can see, like if you look really carefully, you can see the deer plot through mm -hmm. the trees. And he saw a movement over there, I guess, so he grabbed his binoculars and he saw this giant buck. And we have a 10 point on one of our cameras. I think it was the one in silver. And the way he described it, I was like, well, if you think it's right in front of the camera, we can see which it's because the way he described it in my head, I'm thinking, all right, this is either a really big eight point 
or the, it's that 10 point that we saw. So I'll probably go investigate that later once we get back from just in town. Mm -hmm. Go check that card, maybe. But he said there was a few over there. Well, that's pretty cool. And I saw I saw a deer running across. There's like, I call it the island. It's in the middle, not quite in the middle, but off to the side, towards the front, almost to the middle of the pasture, that little island. Oh. I saw one run to the island, hang there for a little bit, and then run back out towards the creek. She names everything. I do. <laughs> I do name everything. She's weird. I know. It's okay. Is it? Well, isn't it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, we did our live with you guys last night and that was fun. Uh, everybody was having a good time and we got, uh, we love chatting with you guys on Wednesday nights when it's live. Like it's, I know last night Mike was really into telling, I know you did not steal my cup, like the demon seed that you are. You need to knock I love you. it off. We have 47 of these cups. We have three. Whatever. <laughs> they never fill their cups with water before we leave and then they all want to steal mine and I, I'm like no I don't want your cooties all over my cup you number one to me doesn't matter that was a long time ago a lot has happened in the in the domestication of this wild creature between then and now anyway you're mean I don't think I'm mean I think I'm trying to teach you to be responsible for your own shiitake. I'm responsible I just that water tastes better the same <laughs> water that you would get out of your thing I'm just yeah, saying. but it's different. No, yeah, but no, if you get to pull the it's different card all the time, I can pull the it's different card. That's not the same thing. It's it's totally the same thing. It's not the same thing. You know why? Because I'm your mother. Because I you said can't so. just pull the mother card. Oh, I can pull the mother card out my back pocket anytime. That is my trump card. That is my ace in the hole. That is my twenty one. That is it. I don't have to. All I have to say is that's it. I'm the mom. It that's. End of story. That's boring. That's the true story. It's boring. Doesn't matter if the boring story. It is the story morning glory. Anywho, um, it's not too late for me to take back all your Christmas presents, lady. I'm just saying. Okay. Kate's gonna get me something. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> and Morgan's gonna give me my gift on Christmas. On Christmas. On Christmas. On Christmas. Yeah. Chrysler, as she calls it. Chrysler. Oh boy. <laughs> These kids. Yeah. Um, oh, look at that guy. He's, yeah, he's driving he owns, into he oncoming traffic. Road. He's in a hurry. He owns the road. He owns the road. Yeah, this guy would just oh, pass him. one of those flashes. Big semi truck, but he was driving like he sped up coming at me in the lane, and I just hung back for a minute, let him figure out his life. But anyway, he's not exciting. One of those, it's so exciting when that happens. He's got one of those bus flashes on the top of his vehicle so yeah he's probably somebody important anything well it is trash day so i did see a bunch of trash vehicles that's just a hey we're a county worker that might pull over randomly in the middle of the road but you know it is what it is but yeah lots of deer activity that rut is kicking off down here oh yeah um, they're just running all over haphazard like they don't have a carrier in the world um so that's that's going to make it easier for for Frankie, I would imagine, to get her first one. And we know that that 10 points in rut, too. And the reason we know that is because you saw it. He, when we saw him on the deer cam, it was at night, and uh, this doe was over there, and he was he was like, hey, come on, walking over to her. You can tell by the way he's kind of. He was like, he hey, was, let me he buy was you a drink. Trotting around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and she was not having it. She left. Yeah. And there was two, two does, and they were they were out, and he was like, well, that's not there, but. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you to get your first one. I think all the people are excited for you to get your first one. They've been cheering you on. I know you don't generally see the comments, but no, I don't. people have been very like, yeah, Frankie, you're going to get a bigger one than your dad. Like, you're oh, going to get. I probably will if I, if I, if I get a buck, which what I'm probably, what we've, what we're probably going to do is. I'm definitely gonna try and get a buck this season. If I get a doe for my first one, it's fine because I still have all season to get a buck. So yeah, you can still get enough. Which few goes till times. the very last day of January. Yeah, you got so, you got time. You got time. And I have a very large chance of getting a buck bigger than my dad because we've seen them. Right. We've also seen a lot of four points 
and spikes. Eh, not very many spikes. Problem is, is they're so far what we've seen on the trail cams is they're not coming out during like regular hunting hours. They're coming out like well, after no. it's dark. There was a few that have been coming out like midday, morning. Those yeah, days. but usually you're not sitting out there midday. I but mean, maybe you're gonna have we are to. Going to. Oh, all right. Well, that's good because I need to clean tomorrow and get started on some of my bacon. So if you guys are out of the so house. Cold and everybody's saying they're gonna move midday. So Dad was like, "All right, we're gonna go sit out there. Be like we're we're gonna hunt Friday. All right, morning, afternoon, evening." Unless you get unless something, something yeah. yeah. Unless something comes up. I mean, if you get that ten point walk out at you know seven o two in the morning, then it's game over for the rest of the day. Oh yeah. You know, you're gonna be busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If he walks out there and he gives me a a good shot, I'm shooting. That's right. And I I mean, the older the buck, the more gamey the meat, which sucks. But well, it just means more ten, sausage. We'll just make more sausage. Out if of that ten point were to walk out, I'm shooting it. I mean, I if know, it gives me a that, chance, that mount. I'm taking it. We'll still eat that's, the meat. That's a shoulder mount right there. Well, yeah, and it may not be. I mean, you don't know. It might not be that gamey. That's and true. if you just if you like turn it into sausage, it. it's like who cares? You it it'll be so minimal that you probably won't. Yeah all that seasoning and stuff that you add to the sausage yeah. you can't tell like I'm not gonna wait you know all season for that 10 point but if it comes out I'm gonna shoot it well if yeah a nice eight point comes out I'm gonna shoot it but I'm not gonna wait around for a nice one like that especially if we're getting closer to end of season I'm gonna take what's there yeah well beggars can't be choosers and you know you never know by friday like let's say you guys do stay out there all day and don't see anything but then you see like a big beautiful doe walk out at you know five o'clock yeah right before you know right before legal light's gone right you might just be like hey let's do that let's take you it. know yeah yeah because i don't know sometimes i think the doe mounts are prettier you've seen doe mounts yeah people don't normally do this yeah i've seen i mean mounts. i've seen them but like only in like a cracker barrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. I could, I don't know. I, I just, I guess I, I don't, I don't discriminate when it comes to who gets mounted on the wall. That's I true. Guess. She doesn't care. I don't care. Male, female. Normally what people will do though is they'll tan the hide of their doe. Well, you could do that too if you want to. Which I might. That would my, be kind of cool. my first deer's a doe, we might. Go ahead. And well, you don't. The problem is, you go. Well, you're gonna have to stick it in the freezer until you get all the stuff to yeah, tan the hide. Well, well, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Send it to somebody to get it done. We don't know how to do that. Just like we're not gonna. Dad's done it before. It. I've read up on how to do it, but I just haven't actually done it. Um, and I don't have all the stuff to do it. That's my neck. That's, I'm sure the microphone probably heard that. That crunchy crunch. Yeah, that was my neck. I Your arthritic that. neck, child. <laughs> Good grief. That's all right. You're crunchy. You're crunchy little human. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh. Great. I forgot I hurt myself on my finger yesterday. Oh, yeah. She, <laughs> she I, sliced like, her fingers. I stabbed my... I like... Uh, so I was trying to open something with my pocket knife. And I was cutting towards myself. So... There's my first mistake, and uh, I like sliced this finger up here a little bit, but I didn't need a bandaid for it. It's just whatever. And then this one, I stabbed it, and I stabbed it pretty deep to the point for a minute it was just white before it turned red. And when I was you like, stab oh. yourself so deep, <laughs> like it just turned white for a minute, and then it started bleeding. So I like, like made my finger really straight so it would kind of stop. So I could go upstairs to grab a band-aid. Oh, we need to be, buy more of those band-aids. Oh, see? That was your job see? to remember. All it took was me accidentally popping that tire. Talking about your craziness. Where are you parking? Oh. I'm turning in. I thought she was about to go park. No, you got to gotta swing wide. Yo, got to swing wide. Oh, that's nice. Good for you. I do what I do. Anywho. Uh. You have arrived. It was. I, well, I was. they were pedestrians, and I was trying to let them know that they could go, but then they looked at me awkwardly 
and it was a whole vibe. And then she felt offended so, oh, because of her California out, roots. I don't think I did. But anyway, um, this is the last time we will talk to you guys before Christmas. So um, I don't think we're putting out a video on, on Three Mississippi on Sunday like we normally do since it's Christmas. I think Mike said we're going to go ahead and skip. Um, I might film a little Christmas message and put on there with Mike, but we'll see. Maybe not. Um, it's going to depend, I guess. But uh, we hope you guys have a very, put it in park, very merry <laughs> and blessed Christmas with your loved ones and uh, you know that you take a minute to reflect on this year and the season. And uh, yeah, so Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye.